I'm gonna show you the process how to make this and then we're gonna bring to Adobe Express and animate it. I'll go to Adobe Stock and there's like the free sections that you can download a free image to use. So these will be the photo we're gonna be used. Yeah. And then we are gonna go on to Photoshop. We're gonna build our foreground. W, quick selection tool to remove the sky. Move these stars with the background to behind this layer. And we're gonna do a little adjustment layer right here. Options and then clipping mask is the same thing right here. But I like them to like kind of blending more. So I'll probably even just do like a quick color adjustment and maybe turn it a little bit more red-ish. Now we're gonna add our moon create a circle and then mask it, right? Oh, so yeah. So you can absolutely. drag it, hold shift to hold that, or you can do option and shift and select somewhere around the center and then just draw a circle like from the center of the uh, circle. So this give me like a very smooth circle edge. Put this moon somewhere around there. So what I'm doing right now is after I select it, I press Q to enter this quick select mode. Um, so the part that's red, means it's not selected, right? So obviously using the brushing tool and then different opacity, you can select different amount of it, right? I'm gonna drag this layer and then hover it over this plus sign on the bottom right, and then you let it go. So it duplicate the layer that you have already. Delete the layer mask we had before because it's duplicate the whole layer mask. Yeah. Our selection is still keep on the left side, right? Click mask. And then now you have the smart object with the new layer mask. So then we're gonna drag our moon behind it. So now you see it give that layers feeling of that. So now we have this, obviously I want to put a little person in front of it right there. And then I want to put like rocks on the left and right side. So I pretty much just did go on here, quick select, and then get that rock. Cause I just want the rock on the back. So now I have this, layer it, name it. So I'm gonna drag it behind the moon. I'm gonna duplicate it by control J, come in T and then flip it move it back here, but I don't want you to be able to tell that's the same rock. So what I'm gonna do is to make it oh, wow. even bigger. <laughs> Let's start with hue saturation and then color balance right here. This is where I start to paint light into my art. Basically, I turn it brightness all the way down and then go on to layer mask on it and then just hide the part, right? So it looks like there's a light coming out from, from the moon. Double click on the layer and then do outer glow and inner glow, right? So now it looks like the moon is glowing. Look at that. And so we're gonna do this, select subject, and then kind of like put it behind the foreground, circle in. And then there's a layer mask on there already, right? So I'm just gonna create a group and then press it again. So now it's group layer mask and there's a layer mask on that. What we can do is like, we can leave that right there, but we might have to reduce it, the saturation, right? Because the moonlight is like more desaturated compared to like the desert light that we had earlier. So obviously you want to save this file and then you go on to Adobe Express, right? Sorry. So you can just directly drag your PSD file to Adobe Express. All I did is importing all the layers into Adobe Express. And then from there, you click the layer you want to animate it. And then you go on to animation right here. So if I just delete this and I can choose all different type of animation and then you can change the duration of how fast the animation will move, right? And then the directions where it's coming from, make sure you're on the timeline, editing timeline, show all the layer timing and you can dragging it by decide when do you want this layer to come in, right? So I'm gonna show you guys the final uh, video that I made for this. So this is really fun to make. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, you guys.